Hi everyone and welcome to my video on the fabulous island of Anguilla. With no place for cruise ships to dock and only one daily non-stop from the U.S. mainland, it's one of the least crowded islands you'll find in the Caribbean. First off, how to get there. Well, it ain't easy. You have two choices. Fly direct to Anguilla or fly to the neighboring island of St. Martin first and then take a water taxi or short plane ride to Anguilla. If you like the first option, there is only one non-stop flight from the U.S. mainland to Anguilla, and that's an American Airlines flight from Miami. Round trip tickets are as low as $6.24 in economy and $12.48 in business class, but in season, they are a lot more than that. And it's a rinky-dink business class in a tiny regional jet with a 1-2 configuration up front. The cheaper option is to fly first to St. Martin and then take a water taxi or a small aircraft to Anguilla. To St. Martin, there are as many as nine daily non-stops from the U.S. mainland. And because St. Martin is half French and half Dutch, there are even direct flights from Paris, Amsterdam, Toronto, and Montreal. When we flew in high season, business class on that Miami to Anguilla flight was close to $1,900. So we flew first to St. Martin and then took a 30-minute boat ride over to Anguilla. Economy class to St. Martin will set you back as little as 300 bucks on JetBlue, and business class is more like 1000 So you save more than $300 flying to St. Martin instead of Anguilla in economy, and how much you save on business class seats will depend on the season. Then, to get from St. Martin Airport to Anguilla, you take any number of water taxis priced at about $70 one way, or you can take the world's shortest international flight at just 10 minutes from St. Martin to Anguilla. That costs about $120 one way. We took the water taxi, and from the terminal in St. Martin to Anguilla, it took us about two hours, and most of that time was spent waiting for the next boat. Bottom line? Flying to St. Martin instead of straight to Anguilla will save you money, especially depending on the time of year. Now there is one other way to get to Anguilla. Stay at the Aurora Anguilla Resort and Golf Club for at least seven nights and fly free. The cheapest seven night stay I see right now is about $5,500. Once you arrive, you'll be tested for COVID and you must quarantine at your hotel or rental until you receive your results. For us, we only waited 40 minutes and then we were free!